Hi, everybody. We're back. This is Dave Vellante, and I'm with Wikibon.org. I'm here with my colleague and co-host this week, Stu Miniman, who's also with Wikibon. This is theCUBE, SiliconAngle.tv's continuous production of Dell Storage Forum. Now, theCUBE is a product that we bring to various events. We're currently on our summer tour. SiliconAngle Wikibon is an independent media and research organization. Uh, Wikibon is the research side. SiliconAngle has a number of publications. And as I say, we come here as an independent entity and provide the perspectives. We bring in the smartest people that we can find. We extract the signal from the noise. We love to hear from you. You can tweet me, I'm at dvellante. Stu is at Stu. Stu, by the way, great Twitter handle. I don't know how you got that. Um, and we're here with Arpit Joshpura, who is with Dell. He's the head of the networking uh, side of the business, runs product management and product marketing, a former CMO of Force 10. Arpit, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, excited to be here. Yeah, Stu, I mean, we've been uh, witnessing the whole convergence trend for now for the last several years. Um, this is your your wheelhouse, what do, you, what do you make of all this? Yeah, so uh, it, it's exciting times. If you talk really, I think back about 10 years ago when the, really the server virtualization uh, you know, market started, started to really explode, we saw that ripple effect through the infrastructure and converged infrastructure is an answer to a lot of that. So we saw changes in the storage uh, realm, uh, you know, all the acquisitions like Equalogic and Compellent on the Dell side and on the networking side, we're starting to see that response to that. So uh, I think Arpit, we're going to spend a little time talking about uh, you know, the changes in networking because you know, for a long time, for you know, over a decade, you know, networking was kind of boring, and people were saying there wasn't a lot of innovation there, and was really dominated by a single player. Um, and, and now, of course, we've seen you know a slew of acquisitions, you know, IBM, HP, Dell, all lining up with their uh, networking pieces. So uh, maybe you, can you frame it for us a little bit as to you know what do you see as the big challenges of the day in, in the networking industry? Absolutely, uh, networking has always been about a rigid network the old way of doing things, mechanical, uh, oversubscribed, and complex, right? As you said, dominated by a single vendor. We at Dell, and specifically you know, with the Force 10 acquisition, we want to simplify it, right? We call it you know, simplifying the complex. And what we are doing is uh, introducing our point of view called Virtual Network Architecture, or VNA. And it's a framework, it's an open framework, that is workload aware, and that just simplifies the networking, uh, you know, in the same manner that you know servers were virtualized, right? We want to virtualize the network and make it simple. Okay, so so, so Arpit, let's let's dig into that a little bit because sure. when you talk, you know, I, I talk to customers and I have yet to find a customer that says, you know, oh, I need a I need a fabric. It's the ripple effect of virtualization. So if you talk about where traffic's going now, virtual machines are, are not a static like mm -hmm. a physical server. So we're moving you know, traffic in between. So in the networking world, what we call kind of the east-west east is tending to dominate versus the old north-south. And for that, it's kind of high bandwidth, either going on a backplane or uh, really a mesh topology or what we're, we're calling a fabric. Uh, and understanding the application is, is very important for that. Um, at the high level, it seems like everybody's got their, their, their own fabric, uh, you know, Cisco's got their fabric path, and, and even on the application aware side, you know, we were talking to HP last week about uh, they don't have VNA, they have VAN, I think. I know, so, wish they had picked the uh, three other lots acronyms. Lots of TLAs <laughs> out there, it's, it's very confusing for, 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 for users as to which means, so, you know, what, what differentiates, you know, what came from Force 10 to Dell? Okay, uh, so let's start off at the very top, right, which is the role of a network is to connect an end user to an application or a workload. That's the role. And today's network has a lot of hierarchy. You got the rack, you got the top of rack, you got aggregation, you got the core. All these are typical um, networking terminologies words, right? Historically, it has been about, you know, big chassis, 16,000 watts, huge, you know, 20 plus RUs, big form factors, right? Think of mainframes, right? That's what today's networking is. And instead of those mainframes, Dell has introduced a point of view with a Z9000 type product that is more of a pizza box. And we build a fabric out of it which has non-blocking connectivity within the rack, across the racks. So let's take a workload like a Hadoop or, or, or you know, uh, a workload that is a demanding workload, right? Now what happens is when that 
causes a whole burst of east-west traffic right within or across the rack. You need a network, you need a fabric, you need an architecture that does not distinguish between the typical rigid boundaries, right? It allows the traffic in a non-blocking manner for that application to go at the highest throughput. Function. Yeah, I, I that's mean, the fact. So specifically, you're talking for for the networking geeks out there. We're replacing spanning tree protocol. Spanning with, tree with, is with, gone with, 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 with a, a simple layer two and layer three architecture, open and interoperable with the leading players out there, yeah. right? Okay. With very high throughput, right? Just keep that in mind. 10 gig, 40 gig. As I always said, 2012 is the year of 10 gig. Yeah. Right. And with the converged launch that we just had uh, at the Dell Storage Forum. Uh, it's 10 and 40 gig all the way. So, well, so uh, you know, th th there's obviously multiple ways to build a network and everybody's got their own flavor out there. Can you talk for a second about, you know, why would I choose kind of, you know, small kind of scale out architecture versus just buying a single chassis where I can have, you know, a thousand ports and just have everything travel along the back plane? Uh, that's a very good question. You know, when the, the three things that come to mind uh, from a customer perspective, and we've had, you know, a lot of uh, customers now going towards this architecture, which, you know, we call it distributed core. It's a leaf and spine class architecture. Um, first one is obviously power. Significantly lower power. Um, you know, we've done some math uh, as low as one-fourth, right? The power of a traditional chassis. Second is the pricing, obviously, right? Because, you know, the general assumption is it's cheaper to buy pizza boxes than to buy, you know, mainframe type chassis. And the third one is just the packaging. The footprint and the, 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 the actual space that a data center takes is just, you know, significantly less, right? In terms of orders of magnitude. When you combine that with the non-blocking nature, right, which gives you, you know, full reliability, right? No packets lost, no workloads lost, and the full automation, which is a server type plug and play, it's a no-brainer. Okay. So, so Arpit, the acquisition happened about a year ago, Absolutely. right? Um, can you give us some insight, you know, coming from Force 10 and now being part of Dell, what, what's been the customer response? What, what's, what's different now than when you were a standalone company? Uh, that's a good question. I think the customer response has been fantastic. Uh, I hosted, uh, you know, a huge uh, technology advisory board about a couple of weeks ago, right? Both with existing Force 10 customers and some new potential customers. And, you know, it's, it's like any other acquisition where the first quarter, everybody's cautious. Uh, you know, large company, will it work? You know, will it not work? Will, it, will they slow down the pace of innovation? And what we are seeing is it's on the contrary, the other way around. We have doubled the R&D time and a half the sales specialist, right? Um, we have you know, almost doubled the investment, and you saw innovative products like the uh, blade switch in, inside the 1000 chassis start to finish less than nine months of R&D, right? So we have managed to sort of not only uh, integrate very f effectively, but to a customer, it gives them the full end-to-end -end view of server storage and networking coming together without losing the innovation and the speed and the agility, as well as the you know disruptive ideas we have created in Silicon Valley with Force 10. Right, so it's best of both worlds. Great, so, so are there any proof points from a customer adoption standpoint? You know, what, what's the size of your install base and uh, you know, b being as part of Dell, you know, it, it, in, in networking, you know, it, there's, there's kind of three or four that, that have known market shares and everybody else is in the other. Uh, so two proof points, right? One is on the customer side. Uh, we have grown our customer base by 43% in the last nine months, right? So we're adding roughly about uh, 600 cu new customers a quarter, and for uh, I'm sorry, how many? Uh, s about 600 cu okay. new customers a quarter. Great. And uh, we have had uh, an install base of about 1,500, you know, mid-high-end customers. So these are not like mom and pop. These are really, you know, yeah. mid-market and above kind of customers, right? So that's number one. Uh, so the, and then um, a lot, about more than half have come back uh, since the acquisition to buy more stuff from us, right? So this is really positive signs. That's number one. Number yeah, that, two, that's great from an upgrade cycle. That's from an upgrade, above average even. Above so. average and new customers. The second proof point is from a market share perspective. Uh, did you know uh, Dell Force 10 is, is number three on 10 gigabit Ethernet, right? Post acquisition. And we are increasing market share. In fact, according to Dell Oro, if you look at year over year, 
uh, we had the highest points gain in the market share. So we're number three in 10 gig. So when you say 10 gig E, is that counting switches and routers or? Switch, so ethernet switches. Ethernet switches Ether in ethernet general. Ethernet switches. Which, so Enterprise just ethernet just switches. So my understanding is a lot of that's down kind of the campus uh, you know, size no, there. this is campus and data centers. Okay. Campus and a lot of the high end data centers specifically in the web 2.0 have already gone to 10 gig. Okay, so, so, so number three, if you look at it, it's Cisco has kind of the dominant market share. HP's number two with about 10% and, and we have Bro brocade and well Juniper we have, we have separated have been kind from of about three percent. So well, we have separated from that crowd well, of congratulations. You know, then yeah. that that yeah. is news to me. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to seeing. And from forty gigi, yeah. forty gigi, we started off as number one last quarter, uh, just because Cisco didn't have a product, right? And now we're number two, right? Globally. Uh, so 40 gigi as it starts ramping so is up, the, is, you the think market Cisco's is number one now. Yes. Okay. And, and IBM with their BNT stuff has has some 40 gig also. And number th distant number three, right? Okay. So we're number two in 40 gigi. So if you look at the really high end, you know, Dell's value is to make high performance and high end available to the masses, right? You heard Darren talk about it today, right? right? That's what we're doing to networking, bringing the really high end at a price performance power packaging at the mid market. No. And in that process, we'll gain customers and market share. Yeah, no, interesting. When I, I looked about a year ago, I did a study looking at all the, the fabrics, and you, you've got, you know, the Cisco's and Juniper's of the world fighting at, you know, who's got the biggest fabric, and no it looks like exciting. you're not trying to have that kind of no argument. No longer exciting. Yeah. It's what solves customer mm -hmm. problems for their workloads, their applications, and tailor it to them. Okay, Th that's, that's great. So, uh, <laughs> All right, our people, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE and sharing the fantastic growth going on in uh, the Dell networking business, um, the whole converged infrastructure trends. Uh, you guys are making some waves. Absolutely. You know, changing We're the landscape. Um, out of nowhere, really, Dell has become overnight a player. You know, we've always known that Dell is a big player in, in servers, but overnight in networking and storage, we've seen that transformation of Dell. So, again, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you for Keep inviting Keep it right there. We'll be back with our next guest. Thank you.